our synergy and our chemistry and everything is just so lovely. Today, we're manifesting some good behind the scenes action of the final season of the nearly dropped Netflix saved NBC show Manifest. Everybody there was so kind and great scene partners and active collaborators. Number one, pulling teeth we can understand. Ripping hair out would definitely take this a step too far. Luna Blaze pulled some teeth on set. Paisley Herrera, who plays Eden, had her very first wiggly tooth this season. She lost her first tooth. They knew it had to come out, of course. You know what? I think we're gonna have to just take it out. Okay, this turned out to be more charming than you were expecting, we bet. Little Paisley, I totally tricked her. Number two, dancing was a good way to spend their downtime. Besides, they had plenty to dance about after securing a fourth season. Looks like Josh Dallas is all tapped out now. Four seasons is all he could take. Oh wait, he's back. Number three. The best news is there's more to come after season four wraps. Yes, after Manifest ends, the cast will be back with a whole new show called Man vs. Banana. Will you tune in? Do you think it will make it to number one on Netflix too? Sorry to troll you. <laughs> oh. Number four. How'd they get these things past security? Foam blaster fights in the hall? We thought it was called show business, not show friends. Oh, but there's kids involved. That's fair. Number five. Dinner is the show, actually. When you're enjoying your food and everybody's gotta criticize you, let her eat in peace. The cereal is dropping out of their mouth. What is going on? Number six. There's too many little things going on, we can't list them all. So many quirky things on set, pretending to be witches on brooms, that fantastic 70s disco look, we love it. Something tells us they were celebrating Halloween. Number seven, good first impressions are everything. The transition was was seamless. Luna Blaze helped make that transition for Ty Doran so much easier because she included him and taught him and supported him and offered guidance. What a role model. The first scene she ever got to shoot with Cal Stone will always be Luna Blaze's most memorable. Ah, too bad. That means no other moment will ever live up to it because they had to do an insane, intense scene together. But it actually bonded us because now he is like a real brother to me. Number eight, surprises wouldn't be surprises if you weren't feeling absolutely terrible before them, right? It sort of trickled in, didn't it? I yeah. feel like it wasn't like one big moment. Do you remember a time when Manifest wasn't supposed to get a fourth season? Yeah, we've also blocked it from our memory. Why, NBC, why? When Luna Blaze heard Netflix picked up the show, she was just chillin'. I was on the beach in Malibu. I actually found out, found out at a cast dinner. On the hush hush, anyway. Most people did find it out that way, yes. Thank you, Netflix. You may be notorious for canceling shows after a season or two, but you've also been known to save them from time to time. The show was picked up for its fourth and final season, either coincidentally or deviously smart, on the 28th of August. 828, that's also the number of the airplane that crashed. Number nine, six seasons or a movie? Well, it ain't no community, that's for sure. This show was actually supposed to get six seasons, so we didn't get everything we ever wanted, but at least we got some resolution. So writer Jeff Rake was struggling to figure out how to condense three seasons into one, into just 20 episodes. We do not envy you, Rake. However, he was willing to condense those three seasons into a two-hour movie if he had to. So a season is a pretty good deal. He said, when I've talked in the past about having a roadmap all the way to the end of series, that didn't mean that I had a roadmap for literally every single episode. I have a roadmap with a series of twists and turns and flags in the sand that we would ultimately hit in order to tell the core stories within our mythology and within our relationship drama. Number 10, are you a lover of beards or a hater? There's no in between. It was pretty easy to slip back into their roles for season four, but Josh Dallas had it the toughest. Was it relatively easy to slip back into these roles? I grew a beard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. He had to grow a beard. Ugh, imagine growing a beard. We wonder how Jennifer Goodwin felt about it. Number 11, we'd sing, but um, we're just getting over a thing. Enjoy some cake, cough, cough. J.R. Ramirez celebrated his birthday on set with a beautiful cake. By the looks of those pumpkins, he's a fall baby. Yep, October 8th. You gotta love having an in-person job where they buy you real cake on your birthday. Oh, the dream. 
Number 12. The directors are the noobs, not the actors. Let's just make that 100% clear. Melissa Roxburgh and Josh Dallas directed for season four. So our boss here who, who trusted us and gave us a chance. <laughs> and it sure worked out. For Melissa, she had a blast and was glad everyone just listened to her. She found it really fun being on the other side of the camera and is hoping to do that more. There's a ton of support from everyone. And she's played Michaela Stone so long, it wasn't too tough. The cast liked working with both Melissa and Josh as directors because they explained things like actors, not like directors, and it just made more sense to them. That feel when you're gifted a director jacket. Number 13. We always love a good laugher on set. What is supposed to bring so much energy and charm to the room just ticks off the guy getting muscle cramps from holding the boom mic so long. Working with Melissa is challenging because when she corpses on set, she just can't stop. She's the one that had the hardest time um, keeping it together, I guess, so to speak. Number 14. No, they aren't giving us a body swap episode. You wish. J.R. Ramirez, if he could play any other characters on the show, it would be Matt Long's character, Zeke Landon, because he's one of the most complex characters on the show. He's got so much to sink his teeth into. Number 15. Do not share nudes. Hoard them. Hoard them all for yourself. If somebody's eating nudes in the background and nobody's there to witness it, did it even happen? The internet says yes. Number 16. Every day is one more day on the set of Manifest. The cast didn't think they'd get quite naturally, they'd party. However, drinking on set? Hmm. Struggling with the wine opener? Look at that face. You can tell she's an actor. Number 17. We love a good church fight, whatever that entails. The mid-season finale church scene is set in St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Glen Cove on New York's Long Island. Jeff Rake said, We have a very tenacious location manager. The set had very subtle special effects because the beautiful location did most of the work for them. Number 18. Congratulations to the graduating cast of 2022. You almost didn't get there. Ending this show felt like graduating. While it was hard for the cast to say goodbye to each other because they had such a beautiful synergy, they're also incredibly proud of what they were able to create. The best people in the world to work with, you know, so it was very emotional, very, very emotional. Number 19. Wakey wakey, nightmares and shaky. This wasn't season four, but we've got a theory. Perhaps Jake Messina was waking up to the reality that the show was canceled. Well, he didn't come back even though it was picked back up, so season three really was the end for the poor guy. What's weird about film is when you don't speak, you can receive directions from the director because audio doesn't matter. Number 20. Are you prepared for a game of I Spy that takes more than your eyes? The number 828 can be found in every episode in some way, or hinted towards. Like Michaela's apartment number is half that at 414. Very intentional. Are you going to have to go back and rewatch to find them all now? And did you know that all the episode titles are based on airplanes or air travel? Well, it looks like it was a ton of fun on set for the Manifest fam. Do you think they were manifesting season four every Manifest Monday? What was your reaction when you found out it was coming back? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for hanging out with us here at The Things.